Hey folks, my name is Nigel and this is Off Grid Van Life. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and testing a battery that we've been sent by somebody in China. So from time to time, we get emails and messages from people saying, oh, check out the batteries that I have in my shop. Uh, let me know how many you wanna buy. And so our usual response to those sort of cold calls is uh, send us a battery, we'll test it, and then we'll let you know if we're interested in buying any. And uh, with this company, they said, okay, no problem, give us your address. And they sent us a couple that we're gonna be unboxing and doing some tests on here on the channel. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm just gonna see if I can connect to the Bluetooth app quickly. Um, So the Bluetooth app, the, the uh, little um, uh, thingy, what do you call QR it, QR code. code that they have on here, um, doesn't take you to anything. Uh, so that's a bit of a <laughs> an annoyance. Uh, obviously, I'm not sure exactly what app we're meant to use for this. So we'll just see. It doesn't say anything in the box there. Um, hmm. Let's see. All right, after a bit of searching just on the App Store and Google and looking at their website and stuff, it looks like I've found the actual app. So I'm just trying to connect to it here now. Um, let's see. It says here, tips, press the on button for one second to activate battery. Press for three seconds to enter sleep mode. Mm -hmm. Might need to charge or discharge the battery. Um, if they use anything like a Dali app, then uh, they it could just uh, be asleep. So the voltage on it is 13.1 volts. Um, so yeah, pretty much probably 50% state of charge or maybe a bit more. But we'll see, I think what we'll do is we're gonna charge this up and then we'll run a capacity test on this one. This is the 100 amp version, it looks like and uh, we'll charge it up, we'll run a capacity test while it's charging. Uh, I'll see if we can get onto the Bluetooth. Um, so 3.61. What are you looking for? 14 volt charger. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> I have to do some research. So far, uh, not a good start as far as um, trying to get this thing uh, up and running and get onto the Bluetooth app. Um, even Dali is more simple than that in the sense that you turn the, when you hit the on switch, it activates the Bluetooth, you can connect to it. Uh, and if you start charging it at a reasonable uh, current, the Bluetooth turns itself back on. And equally, if you discharge the Dali app, at a reasonable current, then uh, it uh, turns the Bluetooth back on as well. Um, but in this case, still nothing on the Bluetooth. Um, there's no instructions to say double tap the button or hold it for X amount of time or whatever. It just says press the on uh, button one second to activate battery, which in my opinion, that should mean that the Bluetooth turns on, but yeah, who knows. So we'll leave this charging. We'll get it to a full state of charge and then uh, we will discharge it. And while it's charging, I'll just do some research to see how I can connect to the Bluetooth app. Uh, and then we'll uh, see if we can figure out how to connect the Bluetooth before we start the discharge test, uh, just so we can monitor it and make sure we don't uh, uh, discharge it too much or anything like that. So yeah, we'll charge this up and then we'll get going.
All right, so the battery is now fully charged, 100% uh, state of charge. Still haven't been able to connect to the Bluetooth app. I've been fiddling with it for ages and it's really not uh, that reliable or intuitive. So I'm gonna have to reach out to the company that sent this to us to see uh, what I need to do to be able to connect the Bluetooth. Uh, otherwise, it's fully charged, so we're gonna stick the capacity tester onto this now, and uh, we'll run a capacity test and see if it pulls capacity. And then once we've done that, we'll have a look at what's inside and what components they use. So let's get the capacity test on. Interestingly, this battery says that it's 12.9 uh, uh, volts, which is the same as what the capacity tester says over there. Uh, but uh, with it being lithium, I would have expected if it's got a full state of charge that it would uh, be around 14 volts, although it does say 12.8 volts on here, which is interesting. So it might be a slightly different chemistry or something along those lines, um, but interesting none the least. So, uh, capacity tester is connected, resetting it to zero, and then we will crank this up to 12 amps of draw. There we go. We'll leave that, take probably around eight hours to run down, and that's also assuming that this battery has a low voltage disconnect um, so I'd basically just leave it until it hits the low voltage disconnect and then uh, should be good. So here are the results of this first battery. So 102 amp hours. So it pulled capacity, and that's this one here. The uh, Power Rod Unlimited Parallel Lithium Ion Phosphate Battery, PRLC100. 12.8 volts, 100 amp hours there. Sorry, it's upside down, but just the positioning that I can reach on the table here. Um, but yeah, still haven't been able to get the Bluetooth working. And uh, this state of charge indicator does work, but you just have to cover it there. Um, but yeah, interestingly, oh, there we go. Now it's back on and it's showing 12.3 volts. So I have charged it up since I did the capacity test. Obviously the capacity test I've turned off mainly just because I didn't want to leave it overnight. Um, uh, depleted. So uh, I charged it up overnight last night and went back to a full state of charge. But yeah, it did pull capacity. So there we go. And I uh, actually ran this battery down from the fully charged all the way down until the low voltage disconnect. So um, I let the BMS uh, disconnect it just to test and see how the battery would perform and make sure that it did actually have a low voltage disconnect, which I can confirm it does. Uh, so we will be taking the battery apart uh, at a later date to see what it looks like inside uh, and how we think, um, what we think of the build quality, etc. But at least it did pull capacity, so uh, that's a positive. But yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.